Perhaps there's been an epidemic. Of what? Health? Plague? People dying on mass before they reach our door? I think we would have heard of that. Well, this doesn't just happen. Has someone not been seeing their patients? Of course not. I've had at least six home visits this week. Not that they noticed. That's hardly the point. Maybe we're better than we thought. No, no, that's no, no, no. We're a lot worse. No, someone is definitely shirking work, and by someone I do mean you, Edward. The nerve! I took off two legs just the other day. Oh, and they live. That's what I'm saying. It ain't natural. I'm back. I'm telling you, someone is interfering with our work. Yes, perhaps a competent doctor is sneaking in at night. Excuse me. Oh. No, no, you do not get to be offended. Hey, the only competent doctor is me. Because I'm the only doctor in the You gave yourself the emotion and you know it. The reason I have the humility is not you that degree. What about that degree? How do you stop going to Dr. Harrison and I both stand Exploding face disease. When the Grim Reaper himself appears at the foot of your bed, don't beg for mercy. Beg for Miss Abby since Miracle Girl. The only pill guaranteed to bring you back from beyond the veil, made from 100% pure adrenaline. Resurrection men trying to snatch your body? Not today. Surgeon bought your heart transplant? Walk it off, champ. Cheat death. Mail in today for a sample of Miss Abby Sin's Miracle Pills. Side effects may include explosion of the arteries, cessation of the heart, the brains, the lungs, the nerves, death. Side effects may include death. Side effects may include death part two. You may see ghosts if you take this. You may be a ghost if you take this. Abby Sin's Miracle Pills are not responsible for cults that may form if you bring someone back from the dead. Abby Sin's Miracle Pills is not responsible for the apocalyptic events that may follow after the dead rise. Do not take Miss Abby Sin's Miracle Pills if you have consulted with a doctor first. Ask your local quack if Miss Abby Sin's Miracle Pills are right for you. Could you do a small favor for me? I suppose. Sorry. I need you to pick flowers for my office. The smell of coagulating blood is starting to get overpowering, not to mention Mr. Ether. So yes, if you could just go do that for me. Yes, Miss yes, Morgan. Thank you, darling. Here. Thank you, Nurse Clairform. I'm going to check on my patients now. Oh, I actually, Nurse, could you fetch me some water? Yes, water. What's that? Tell her why. Yes, um, I need to describe down the surgery. It should only yep. take a few hours. Just a few. You want me to wash the surgery? Yes. Spotlessly S clean. So um, gross. Have you heard of these germ things? <gasps> yes, mm. yes. Have you heard tiny little bugs Very or something tiny. apparently making mm. people sick? Mm -hmm. it sounds like nonsense, but you can never be too careful. Never too old. Never yeah. too careful. What about my patients? Oh, we'll take oh. care of them. You just run along, darling. Run along. Come on. All right. Thank you. Bye. Did you get the note from my assistant? Yes, but I couldn't read her handwriting. What did it say? I urgently, urgently need a scarf. A scarf? Yes, it's for one of the patients. He had an accident with a steer. He has this big hole in his neck. I feel a scarf would really help with his self-consciousness. I'm sorry, Miss Heroin, but I have to go check on my patients. No, it really can't wait. 
It has to be done by our session this afternoon. You'll have to get started right away. But I need No, to... no. Best be getting on with it, nurse. Yes, miss. Why am I being punished? I haven't seen my patients all week. Why am I being punished? We are not punishing you. I haven't been able to see any of my patients. We are keeping them from you. Why? For the safety of the patients. What does that mean? Nurse Clariform, have you ever noticed that most of our patients tend to die? Yes. And why do you think that is? I have a few theories. Right. Well, while you were on vacation, this hospital didn't report a single fatality. Not a single case of exploding face disease. And when the fatalities returned as soon as you did, we put two and two together. Honestly, I'm surprised it took this long. I mean, the sudden onset of the disease, you being the nurse in charge of all the patients, even her exploding face disease is so rare that no other doctor seems to have ever heard of it. Clara? I think you're an asymptomatic carrier of exploding face disease. What? I mean, think about it, darling. All the patients you come in contact with die. You must be inadvertently transferring it to them without realizing. An asymptomatic carrier? Now, I know you may not believe it, Oh, no, no, no. I believe it. Oh, did you suspect? I did. You know what? Most of my family died from exploding face disease. Oh, oh you poor thing. I'm so... So sorry. And I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Nurse Clariform, but obviously we can't allow you to see the patients anymore. But I love my work. I have a medical degree. I actually went to medical school. Well, I don't know what you mean by actually. But I'm afraid it's not safe for you or the patients. But- Now, we're not dismissing you, of course, um, but we are going to have to find something else for you to do. You can help me mix the drugs! In the pit? No, no, there is no- need for that. Ever. She can help with the paperwork. Yes, excellent idea, Dr. Heroin. We'll get you in a little office out of the way and you won't see anything. I've cured exploding face disease. You have? It's why I went on vacation. It took a few years and it could have taken much, much longer, but I've cured it. What is it? Miss Abbeyson's Miracle Pills. <gasps> I bloody knew it! Oh, congratulations, Nurse Clarabom! Oh, I'm so happy for you! <sighs> You're gonna be famous! Hopefully not too famous to stay with us! <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'd never leave here. Well, screw you lot, I'm gonna be rich! Oh, sweet darling. I'm Emily Pickard and I play Nurse Clariform on the Sawbones Society. Nurse Clariform is the nurse at the hospital and she's the only person who actually has a real medical degree or at least a legitimate le medical degree. Uh, she uses this degree to properly murder patients in a way that is discreet. But because the Sawbones Society is made up of fools, that's yeah, re not, really not that necessary, so she just shoots them. Chloroform is a sedative that replaced ether because it wasn't as nauseating. However, it had the drawback uh, that it gave a couple patients heart attacks. Nursing as we know it today was mostly attributed to Florence Nightingale. In 1854, Florence Nightingale brought a whole bunch of women over to help the British soldiers, and that's where nursing began. When she brought them back, she got uh, aid from the British government in order to make nursing a real thing. Nurse Clariform actually went to the school, uh, Florence Nightingale School of Nursing, which is where she got her degree from. So she was probably around that time trained by 
Florence Nightingale herself? Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Uh, unlike what most people would probably assume from the time period, men could also be nurses. It just wasn't as common, but they were allowed to do it. Nursing back then used to be kind of like apprenticeship programs now, where trained nurses would supervise, but uh, the student nurses would do most of the work. So the person actually tending to you wasn't really qualified yet. Because of that, there weren't many supervising roles, so the actual jobs for trained nurses were mostly private nurses who would come into your home and take care of you one-on-one. -on -one. Florence Nightingale actually had a big part in introducing hygiene to hospitals. She asked for some more aid from the British government, and because of that, she was able to put more hygienic procedures into place that were then picked up on by other hospitals. Uh, one of my favorite things about nurses is that they didn't just take already thought of medical facts as facts, they actually took those ideas and practiced them themselves and tested them out, which led to nurses actually coming up with a lot of scientific discoveries for nursing and helping the medical practice altogether. Because there weren't many jobs for nurses, it kind of explains why Nurse Clariform, a trained nurse, would actually come to this cottage hospital as opposed to working in an actual hospital, as if she worked in a real hospital, she would have to have a supervising position, which wouldn't give her the hands-on she needed to actually take care of her patients. Nurse Clariform dresses a lot fancier than a nurse would, obviously with the big jewels, the big necklace, all that. A real nurse would not wear that. You would end up losing your ring in a patient, for sure. But the way her dresses does actually kind of show similar to what a uh, nurse's outfit would look like because of the frills that go down. Usually that would be an apron. It would have the frills down the same place her dress does that would then attach to the apron. She just has it in a, more of a fancy dress form. Nurse Clariform does not love her work. <gasps> she loves killing, but she does not love putting up with these losers. Nurse Clariform is only bad at her job if you assume her job is nursing. Hello, Mr. Guy. All greetings, ma'am. Peaches are biting today. Sidetracked. Well, it's been a bit more since this afternoon, Mr. Eaton's, I reckon. Yeah. 